Point Reyes is the windiest place on the Pacific coast and the second foggiest place on North American continent. <laughs> You should have known better. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop! Boop! croissant and coffee now we're ready to start our day so see you at the first stop which i believe is <laughs> sorry oh the cypress tree cypress tree i think <laughs> all right let's go all right we see it's foggy so we'll see how point right has to look like i think it's supposed to be foggy all day Point Reyes, so it's kind of unfortunate, but it should be fine. I'm sure it's still very pretty. Well, but we can't see anything, we can't tell, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Whoa, so foggy. I'm afraid we're not gonna see anything today. This is so pretty, though. We got here. But it looks like the road is closed. I didn't realize the road could close like that. Huh. That's unfortunate. And it also says no parking on the shoulder, so we can't really park here. I guess we could go down and take a picture. You're here at the Cypress Tree Tunnel. And I guess it kind of goes without saying that the Cypress Tree Tunnel is a road where Cypress Tree goes along the road. <laughs> I think this road supposedly leads to a historic radio tower or some sort of station, I think with RCA. It is a pretty popular destination for tourists, but I think because of the weather today and how early it is, there's no one else here. I didn't even know it was foggy. It kind of has its own taste to it, a little bit mysterious. Yeah, it definitely has its own special kind of vibe when it's foggy but I can see how it could be very pretty with the sun out. Alright so we just parked and yeah the weather is definitely not on our side. It's a little disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to it. Really? <laughs> Point Reyes is the windiest place on the Pacific coast and the second foggiest place on North American continent. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known better. Well, I think we get a good picture of it. And we saw the Cypress Tree Tunnel. There we go. <laughs> it's just about the same. Yeah. Just with the fog. All right. We're gonna go just straight to the lighthouse and then probably just call it a day. And then, well not necessarily call it a day, we might just head back to like San Rafael or like a smaller town and just explore that town. 
But to be honest, I'm actually really surprised because there's still a lot of people. Well, more people than I thought. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised. And so this is the lighthouse, the stairs to the lighthouse. It has 313 stairs and it's equivalent to 30 story building. It's pretty spooky. Like you don't know how far it goes down. You can kind of hear it. It's like staring into the unknown. This is the first step of our 313 stair journey. I think going down isn't that isn't gonna be that bad. It's coming up that'll be the challenge. stairs portion is kind of gone now it's just like a ramp a giant steep ramp and i think we definitely prefer the stairs <laughs> oh more stairs okay okay we can kind of see the lighthouse now you don't see it yeah. i guess that's it Okay, so we kind of finally made it to the lighthouse. There's like a, not a museum, is it? Oh, it's just like the inner workings. This might be the visible. most visible, best view we're probably gonna get today. Like, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the sun is kind of out again. And it definitely looks different. I can only imagine what it would look like without this fog. Starting to make that climb back up. It's looking pretty steep. Oh, they actually have some numbers. You have these like rest spots or rest stops over there so that's kind of convenient almost there <sighs> it's no joke made it so we just finished the hike to and from the lighthouse and overall it was pretty easy hike easy to moderate maybe going down the stairs maybe took 10 minutes if that coming back up a little 
uh, a little longer. I mean, if you had to stop, yeah, then it would be like 15 minutes-ish. Not even. I guess it depends on your pace. But uh, yeah, the fog was not letting up. I mean, again, we got some sliver of like uh, sunlight, which is nice, I guess, but is that right? So now we're in the parking lot and it seems like there's a lot of people still coming in. Like, do you see this? There's a lot of people still waiting to, to park. So I'm actually kind of surprised that there's still people in this fog here. I was surprised at all the people at the lighthouse. But it was an interesting experience, I guess. Just know that fog is pretty common here. And definitely check the weather report before coming. Check the National Park website because they have a lot of more, more a lot more information there. But yeah, so now we are going to head back to the car and just drive back down. It's around 2 o'clock. The whole trip was about... Maybe like two hours. I mean, we took our time taking videos and photos and stuff. So we're going to go back down and check out one of the small towns and just walk around there and see what they have to offer. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release videos every Thursday. We'll see you next week. Bye. Peace out, Cub Scout.